my name is Basil Sky Gamer Basil, and today we'll be doing another video. So on our last video, I, it didn't go very well, but I'm not sure why. So today I thought maybe you could do uh, the rare hybrid. So let's, today we're gonna see what is the best rare hybrid. So yeah, and I'm thanking you for all the support and make sure to hit the subscribe subscribe button to be the first people to be the first notified to our videos so without further ado let's get started so you're asking me um, okay so uh, I have every single uh, rare dinosaur or most of them to level 40 and I can make hybrids I have lots of DNA so what is the best one what's the one that I should really focus on and today I'll be showing you exactly that but before we get started just make sure to leave just hit that like button smash it and yeah let's, let me just show you so last time we did the best um, hy uh, common hybrid and it was labyrinthosaurus today we're gonna do the best um, uh, rare hybrid so first we've got diplotator with 1700 health and 600 attack and collects Oh, by the way, guys, I'm not gonna, like, um, so do the DNA, because I'm pretty sure you get annoyed while I like, keep pausing it, pause, 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 pause. So, um, I thought, uh, for this one, I'm not gonna do, like, uh, like how much DNA they cost. So, the Plasator has 1,700 health, 600 attack, and 100, and set, he gathers 100 and set, 107,000 coins in just 6 hours, so pretty good for coin wise and okay at health i mean good health and okay attack so let's see how much nanda suchis has actually nanda whatever he has 2500 health though has way better health than the plotator has 600 health uh, attack Actually, he has 595, and the Plotator has 584, so he has more attack by a bit, though. And in coins, it gathers double the coins. It gathers more coins. So, yeah, Nandasaur Nandagasaurus is better than the Plotator for now. But we're looking for the best um, rare hybrid. Oh, wait, why are there DNA gas? It's ready. It's supposed to be rare. So we're gonna we're looking for the best rare hybrid, not the best uh, amphibian rare hybrid. So yeah, let's continue. So next up we've got Africamimus, and he has about the same health as the Plotator, and 850 attack, which is pretty good, and gathers 95,000 coins in two hours. So out of all of them, he gathers the most. He can gather like triple as much as Diplo Teacher and like maybe no not even double close to double though as much as um, Nandasaurus so yeah but he has out of them he has the least health but the most attack and he's uh, he's pretty much doesn't have advantage to any actually to only one of the rare hybrids that we'll get to so next up we've got Patchy Ceratops, which has 2,500 health, crazy health, has not a set 600 attack, and gathers about 54,000 coins in 30 minutes. So basically, it gathers cord like it gathers double the amount in an hour. So it cut, like in two hours, it'll f four times the amount of Africamimus. So he gathers lots of coins, but he has okay attack. But the health, it, it's it has a lot of health, but not as much uh, actually more than. Uh, so it, for, like right now, it has the most health out of everything. But it's the only problem is it needs as much health as it can get. Cause next up we've got. Cardinal Raptor. Oh, wait, what just happened? So Cardinal Raptor has 2,500 health, so a bit less than like Patchy Ceratops by like 11, like or 13, close to that. But yeah, 
but has 1,000 attack, which is more than anything we've come out this on this list. But he has the most attack and the most health out of everything. And how many, how much coins? 189,008 hours. He gathers the least coins out of all of them. But really, uh, his coins are not that important. The real important thing is the dinosaur. So, last but not least, we have Drapilogosaurus, which has 3,007 atta health and 940 attack. So, has way more health than Carnoraptor, but has a little bit less attack and gathers 253 in 12 hours, which is less than. Uh, no, actually more than Carnoraptor by a bit, though. So, now, let's see what they're all made of. So, let's let's see what they used to make. So, first up, you need a Diplocalus and Irritator to make Diplo Diplotator. And those are pretty easy, because there's a common in them. And in Nundasaurus, you need Tajangasaurus, which is, again, really easy, and Nundasuchus. For... Africamimus, you need Calamimus and Africodon at level 40, which is harder than the last two. For Patchy Ceratops, you're gonna need Pat Nusoceratops and Patchy, uh, Pat Patchy Cephalosaurus. For Carnoraptor, you're gonna need Carnosaurus and Pyroraptor. And for Tapilogosaurus, you need Monolophosaurus and Tapijara. So, the first two are pretty easy to easy to get but then they're hard to get the rest so the best is going to have to be Tapil Jolosaurus first because he has an he has an advantage against the two um, uh, what, like the amphibians which Carnoraptor ha is weak to so if he can take them on it's pre pretty good but the only downside is he he has an advantage to Patchy Ceratopses, Patchy Ceratops, and uh, Af Africamimus. So he's like Carnoraptor, but has way more health. So that's why he's gonna be number one for the day. But of course, number two is gonna have to be Carnoraptor. So the winner is Tappy Joelosaurus. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, and hit the no notifications bell. And I'll see you in another video. Bye bye.